Whoa, this one's literally a single penny. Oh man, that's not a good sign. Did I just get scammed? <laughs> Today I'm in search of the cheapest and sketchiest thermal paste options that you can find on the internet and then testing them inside of my high-end gaming PC. One of two things will happen here. Either I'll be pleasantly surprised and will find a great deal on some budget thermal paste or my PC will burst in a ball of flames due to thermal throttling. Which of those two options will it be? Let's find out. I'll keep track of each thermal paste that we test with my TCL Stylus 5G phone, which is also the sponsor of today's video. I recently got my hands on this phone and so far have loved it. Most of my video ideas come to me at random points throughout the day, so the fact that the Stylus 5G automatically opens up my notes app whenever I pull out the dedicated pen has been a lifesaver. Plus, afterwards, the phone can literally turn my handwriting into actual text for easier organization, which is really cool. On top of that, the 6.81 inch Full HD Plus display offers SDR to HDR upscaling, so everything from playing video games to watching YouTube looks wonderful. The Stylus 5G also comes equipped with a 50 megapixel AI powered four camera setup that's great for content creation or just capturing new memories. And since the phone comes with 128 gigs of expandable storage, running out of space hasn't even been on my radar. Finally, I'm teaming up with TCL to give away a Stylus 5G phone to one of you watching right now. To be considered, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment down below describing what you would do with the phone. The giveaway is limited to US residents and I'll be selecting a winner one week from today. I'm gonna start by just going to Amazon and literally typing in thermal paste and then searching by the cheapest option. Whoa, this one's literally a single penny. <laughs> ah, but $2.40 of shipping. That's how they get you. From a brand I've never heard of with no reviews. Love to see it. All right, so let's cop that one. So I'm pretty sure I bought three tubes of thermal paste for a single penny, but this is the only thing that arrived in that package. That's right, this tiny little single tube of thermal paste. Did I just get scammed? <laughs> so what happens when you buy from an Amazon seller with zero reviews and zero comments. Regardless, we'll see how this tube of thermal paste performs. This is the computer that's bravely volunteered to be part of our experiment, and don't let the older AMD cooler fool you. Inside of this PC is a Ryzen 7 5800X, which is going to pump out tons of heat for our thermal paste to try to absorb. And so after applying our single scent thermal paste onto our $400 CPU, the computer does at least still turn on, which is a good sign. However, after only a couple minutes of stress testing, we do hit the temperature limit of 90 degrees Celsius, and then our CPU starts to thermal throttle, which is a fail. Yes. Oh, they know I'm a sucker for the giant tube of thermal paste. All right, like I'm gonna buy this one too. This is another one for a single penny. Oh, this one actually has reviews. This seems like a massive scam. The plastic alone is worth more than one penny. <laughs> Not to mention it has 2.5 star ratings. Super suspicious, which means we're gonna buy it. <laughs> Another giant tube of thermal paste. <laughs> Look at this packaging, it has a cat on the top. Oh, it also has a 24 hour customer support number. Should we call them with thermal paste questions? Yeah, we're totally calling them with thermal paste questions. Call will be charged as per your international plan. Yeah, this is worth it. The number you have dialed is not in service. <laughs> that international phone call probably costs more than this tube of thermal paste, which was a penny. <laughs> What if I need to know a thermal paste pattern to use? Who am I supposed to call? Look how dry this thermal paste looks. It looks like the desert in there. Jeez, shall we give it a go? All right, now this is what I was expecting. See how solid this is as opposed to like liquidy? Viscosity of this one is much higher, which means this will probably not spread around as much as the other did. We'll see how that affects its performance. Turns out it doesn't improve upon the previous thermal paste. In fact, this drier thermal paste ends up thermal throttling the CPU even quicker than the previous option. Yet another Oops. fail. All right, let's grab some variety, a tube of thermal paste as if we were buying toothpaste. Here we have one for $2.03, 20 grams for two bucks. That's so much cheaper than what I'm used to buying. What's inside of the box? One. <laughs> Again, no customer reviews, which means we're gonna buy it. All right, this next tube of thermal paste is like toothpaste. It's in a tube and <laughs> it's already expired. Oh no, not a good start. Oh my goodness. Beneath the plastic, this is so slippery. It almost feels lubricated. I'm hoping that's just due to the packaging and not it spilling out, but I wish you guys could feel how, how slippery this is right now. Oh, and this will be our first white thermal paste. This one, I won't be able to do an X. So I guess I'll just do a big old blob in the middle. Oh man, that's not a good sign. Check out how there's two different liquids here. On the edge, you can see this clear liquid and then the more opaque white liquid in the middle. To me, that means something hasn't been mixed properly. Something there ain't right. Regardless, we're gonna test it. 
that this thermal paste performs about as janky as it looks. Under the stress test, this questionable white thermal paste joins the club of thermal throttlers, quickly hitting the ceiling temperature limit of 90 degrees for the 5800X. <laughs> this is turning into uh, quite the mess. <laughs> Look how massive this tube is. This one's also a single penny, but it's a 30 gram tube. Inside of a typical gaming computer, you'll probably use less than a gram of thermal paste. So hypothetically, this could cover you for 30 computers worth of thermal paste application. <laughs> you know it's up to date when their stock picture has a CPU dated from 2011 inside of it. That can't be a bad omen, right? This one might be sketchy, but the giant tube is really just drawing me in. Let's grab that one as well. If you've ever been curious what a 30 gram tube of thermal paste looks like, well, today is your lucky day. I'm curious if it's actually 30 grams or not. Yeah, 35 grams in that entire tube. But while quantity is good, quality is more important. So let's put it in our computer to see how it works. Whoa, okay, this is squirting out so fast. The viscosity on this is crazy. I will say I thought this thermal paste was going to be very chalky, very dry. But as you can see, that squirt out with no problem at all. Even though this thermal paste is the least viscous out of all the ones we've tested so far, its slimy substance can't keep the CPU at a reasonable temperature and also thermal throttles. I'm starting to lose hope in these cheap thermal pastes. All right, how about wish.com, the ideal place to buy sketchy things on the internet? What do I want to find? Thermal paste. All right, perfect. This one's two bucks. Let's just grab that one. All right, this one by far has the coolest packaging or at least the most well put together packaging. Oh wow, this comes with a bunch of stuff. Business card thanking me for choosing their thermal paste. How kind. Of course, the thermal paste itself. You can see that it's only filled up to like right here. But maybe this baggie of extras will make up for the low quantity of thermal paste. Got ourselves a thermal paste spreader. I honestly don't even know. Another thermal paste spreader. Some cleaning wipes. That's always helpful. And what is this? Is this, this a glove? <laughs> they gave us protective gloves so we can safely put on our thermal paste. All right, time for our next thermal paste. But before we do that, Got to make sure we wear the uh, the gloves that came with it. Honestly, this thermal paste feels the most normal to me so far, just in terms of its consistency and its viscosity. It's not too liquidy where it's just going to spill everywhere, but it's not too dry where you really have to force it to spread around. Plus, I feel so safe with these gloves. And just like that, we're ready for the test. Oh, check it out. Our CPU temps are finally below 90 degrees Celsius. Is this thermal paste actually working? 85 degrees. That's well below our CPU max temperature ceiling. Let's go. Wow, Wish.com really coming in clutch with the cheap thermal paste. Who would have thought? All right, so in conclusion, with thermal paste, you pretty much get what you pay for most of the time. Yes, you can find some pretty cheap options on the internet, but at the end of the day, there's much better options out there that are worth paying a little bit more for in order to keep your CPU below the thermal throttling limit. Personally, I'm going to avoid using these 30 gram tubes of thermal paste that cost a single penny. But I suppose the key takeaway for the day is that if you're going to buy cheap thermal paste, you might as well buy a lot of it for the same price because the performance is going to be the same either way. And that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed, consider following along for daily tech tinkering experiments. As always, I'm Mr. Yeaster, your tech tinkerer, and I'll catch you in the next one.